Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is the combo box get option count. This note is very simple. It takes in a combo box and outputs an integer value of the number of options you have available in that combo box when you run the node. I'm going to run it. We're going to see two as our option. And if we look in our combo box, well, we have two options. So that's it. It's really simple. It's not going to return back the last index if you're going to use this as an array. You can think of this more as the length or the count node if you're going through an array. And since our options are technically just an array, it's going to give you back that same result. You just have to know it's called get option count. Now this could be useful if maybe you want to do something with it. In this case, I'm going to loop through all of my options. I'm going to grab the option count, subtract 1. Arrays start at 0, so we want to subtract 1. So we start at 0 and go 1 below our actual count. And then print out all of our options. When I hit play, you can see we have two items. This is our default option was there, and carrots was there. Let's increase this a bit and do it again. There we go. And you can see it's gone through and printed out our options that we had available to us based on our option count when we loop through our combo box. That's it. Simple node takes in a combo box, returns back the count or the number of items that are currently in that combo box when you run this node.